Hello, everybody, and a warm, warm welcome to this uh, presentation of Conformic Automatic. Uh, my name is Stefan Schulz. I'm the CTO of Conformic, and I'm going to briefly introduce today to you what is Conformic Automatic all about and show you a demo of our plugin, which has been released specifically for HCL One Test UI. So how does Conformic Automatic work? Basically, it's all about taking manual test assets and converting them automatically into executable test scripts that you can execute in the target execution tool of your choice automatically. So what Conformic provides is actually the logic for this conversion. And it, it's driven basically by some natural language processing and intelligent automation generation, which we will explain in later videos. But in a nutshell, you take a um, manual Excel test, for example, or you take a test plan that you have in your ALM system, you import it, and you convert it into the scripts and then execute them. Okay, let's get to the demo. So in this demo, we're going to use Conformix uh, standard kind of parabank application, which is a fake bank application where you can create an account, enter and withdraw money. And uh, yes, we are going to also show you, of course, how to install and configure this, well, basically how it has been installed and configured. And then we will show you how we import some manual test cases uh, for that uh, into test scripts for HCL one test. So about these manual test cases, just to give you an idea, so this is the Excel format. And here the main thing is that your test uh, has somehow a, some kind of a test description or action description as well as the expected result. Obviously, you need some kind of a test case name and test number. But then basically any text goes here, our analysis will handle it all. It can, for example, detect multiple sentences in cells. It can identify values as well as objects automatically from the sentences and from based on that select automation actions and create um, uh, page objects uh, and harness functions. Okay, so now we go to HCL one test. Uh, so here is HCL one test for you. What have I done before this video? I went ahead and I installed um, the uh, the software, uh, Conformic Automatic, by simply going to add and adding the archive. So basically, after the installation, this shows up right here installation details so here you can see i've actually both features installed both the import from excel as well from alm now uh, maybe of interest for you is that when you actually go towards this feature and you click properties you can see in general information some documentation here about the about our plugin which is available also separately as a word document so that's the first thing that I've done. Then the next thing that I've done is I have gotten a license from Conformic. Uh, and uh, this license configuration goes with the preferences. And then you have Conformic licensing. And basically here, you need to paste the license that you have gotten from Conformic, which is a file, which entitles you to either one or both of the features. So now I have the license, I have the installation leaves me just to also make sure that I've enabled my environments for testing. So basically in HCL one test, um, you know, we have uh, currently with uh, the, the code that is generated out of the box is generated for Chrome. So you need to set up Chrome as your default browser that is enabled for execution. Okay. So, okay, so now let's get started. I'm set up. I want to generate tests for this Excel sheet that I've shown you, right? So the first thing I do is I make sure that I'm in the functional test perspective. The functional test perspective is selected, and I go into File, New, Functional Test Project, right? So we are testing Verabank. You give it a meaningful name, and basically you see there's nothing in this project, and now we're just going to go to the import. So here you see there will be a folder after your, the installation of the plugin um, that will give you a conforming automatic folder, and then let's select the Excel part. Uh, then we make sure the correct project is selected that we want to import to, and obviously then we select the Excel file to be imported. And we select the header row, meaning where is it actually stating here, test case name, description, etc. right? 
Okay, so we've done that. Then it kind of does an automatic mapping. We should spend a short look if this roughly makes sense here, because obviously this is a temp, and if you want to change the mapping, it's very easy to do that here. But um, yes, so then actually on the next page, there's some uh, configurations that you can do in addition, but we're going to use the default settings and talk about this in another video, and just going to simply click Finish. So now runs the conversion, it's done. We get a short report. Um, about how many tests we have been able to convert and how many actions we have been able to convert. That re report is also available when you now look at what's now in our folder. So a bunch of stuff has been generated. This report that I've just been talking about is right here. So you can sort of read it later. Also generated, for example, some test cases that you can directly execute. And if you will see this here, so these are basically, this is the, the place where it all starts, the test case, which we will execute, but that in turn calls functions in the harness. And this has all been automatically generated, all of these folders, all of these files. And basically here um, we have, we are calling the, the test steps individually, and then the utils actually provide the functions which actually, for example, you know, navigate to a URL or click a button object, etc. So all of this is generated. Also generated, for example, is this, um, is this um, uh, page object classes. At this point, these are only containing basically values, uh, you know, in terms of the objects that are there, how they're being identified. Okay, so again, all of this is generated. So all we need to do is click Run. And yes, we want to do the logs. So this is the first simple test where we just open the page, we check that we're in Parabank, we click the admin, and then click the clean button. Okay. So this is now HCL1 test UI executing. So we should first see that it clicks on the admin page button, and then it will run some verification, then it will click on the clean button, and then it will do a verification and then it will be done. Okay, then we get this report from HL1 test UI. And then we see, okay, actually all of the steps have passed. And you can actually see here in detail what it has done. So we started the application, we verified some text exists on the page, then we went to click on the link, verify again some text, uh, click the clean button, etc. And that was our test. And in the similar way, we have um, all of the other tests that we had in our original Excel script right here. Uh, right? So for example, the, here you can see how Conformic has generated, uh, you know, the filling out of the registration page and everything works in the same way. So that concludes the first simple demo. And with that, I want to wrap up and just kind of summarize that, uh, what you have seen is Conforming Automatic. It's a new low-cost product line, which has been specifically engineered uh, to help to generate test scripts for manual tests. So the idea here is that we want to drastically reduce how to uh, generate scripts for manual tests. So this is uh, intended to be, can be deployed in regression as well as in progression scenarios where manual testers are first testing an application then handing off to automation engineers. Um, this whole thing is powered on Conformic's own homegrown intelligent test automation technology. And as we have seen, it's very easy to adopt. Uh, the target user for this tool is the test automation engineer who can, of course, also go and edit scripts if they feel like it. But obviously, uh, in an ideal scenario, we're just clicking go. So we hope you have enjoyed this presentation. And if you have any questions of any sort, feel free to contact salesit.conformic.com. Thank you.